one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the moment of silence over our soul. Recently departed in our military personnel of our community. Thank you. Roll call, Jeff. Mr. Henderson? Here. Mr. Petroselli? Here. Mr. Gallarducci? Here. Mr. Colosimo? Here. Mr. Verducci? Here. Mrs. Schneider? Mr. Shashowski? Here. Mayor Copeland? Here. Solicitor McDermott? Here. Engineer Brett? Here. I'm Joe Cowler, Chief King, Chief Castain, and Chief Miller. Uh, excuse me, uh, Joe. Uh, Mrs. Schneider, she tried to call you, Mr. President. Uh, for uh, our flight, it's been delayed three times from uh, from Philadelphia, and she's missing very much this meeting, so she cannot be It's excellent, very justified, uh, excellent. Thank you. Sure. Um, first of all, I apologize to you all out there. We had some business to take care of prior to the meeting. Um, we are going to open up with a public hearing, and it's a petition of rezone. And, and proposed ordinance number 1024, followed by Roberta to keep Walsh to rezone parcel 255-E-280 from conservation to residential one, a single family. And I would like to turn it over to Solicitor Tom McDermott. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. President. Uh, this is the time and place for the uh, public hearing on this petition to rezone the Walsh parcel. Um, it has been properly advertised by the manager. I believe we can confirm that. Um, the uh, person of the uh, NBC and the property has been posted, I understand. Correct. Thank you. Um, uh, just by way of background, this, this uh, petition arose out of an inquiry from the property owner, and Mrs. Walsh is here this evening, uh, who owned a piece of property on, that fronts on um, uh, Calvert uh, Street. Uh, just in the intersection of the property, they owned the chest street. They've owned the property for some time, they went to admit it as a buildable parcel. Uh, they discovered and they went to uh, prepare to build that it is actually, um, as a result of a rezoning that could have occurred years ago, zoned as a conservation district property. It's right on the cusp of the border where the conservation and the residential um, split. And for whatever reason, way back when it was, it is designated as a a conservation district parcel. Um, as a result of that, uh, we, we, uh, the manager and the general officer and I looked at it and it, uh, agreed that it, conceptually it would be appropriate to entertain a, a petition uh, to rezone that. And the uh, uh, property owner has filed such a petition and is here today to answer any questions you may have. I will quickly state for the record that the uh, Planning Commission has recommended, would be recommended approval. Of the, of the petition as well as the uh, ACED and the county um, planning agencies. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, do we have any public comments to be made? Ken, I do have to do this, is, this is relative to this particular. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Not at all. And uh, do you have anything to add to the application? Yeah. No further question? Okay, I'll take a motion to adjourn this hearing. Have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? This uh, public hearing is adjourned. Can we just roll right into the uh, no. Okay. Thank you. We have a, yes. Thank you. Uh, Roberta, I'm assuming that was you were on here for that, right? That is correct. Nothing else to add? Yeah. All right, uh, Bob Fryer. Thank you again. I, I showed these, excuse me, Bob Fryer. Uh, I showed these drawings to some of the guys in the planning commission, but I don't think it's a lot of you saw it. I just want to go through it again. I'll take it. That is extremely young. This I just think most of us were there. I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah. This, this is, I, I didn't show you this the other way, but this is the drawing that I gave PennDOT three years ago when we found out that they were going to widen the south of the bridge by six feet. And if, if, you, if you notice, I <coughs> emphasized the, uh, 
we virtual needed two lanes coming from the South Ed Business District across the New Bridge, and the two lanes coming from the uh, from the Bridgeville Central Business through to the South Ed Central Business District. And uh, also, the reason I added another lane on uh, Chartier Street was I assumed that that would be like a lane that could be used for people that want to come down here to run the graduate turn and come in the original central business district and also this left turn stacking. Okay. And I wanted to show you what the, the plan, uh, that, uh, if some of you guys know, that plan was uh, sort of endorsed by Dan Cessna, the CEO of Penda, that two years after that he left and there's another CEO there. And the plan that they're going to build now, what we need into Bridgeville, is this one. If you notice, there's now only one lane uh, coming out of the Bridgeville Central Business toward the South Fayette Business District, and, and there's no left turn stacking lane on Washington Avenue going to Chartier Street which means, in my opinion, that's going to create a problem for, uh, for us. And I might mention, when PennDOT uh, told us that they didn't want to put a left turn stacking lane to Chartier Street there, they, they gave us a study that indicated that there were only 14 cars turning left at that point between 4 o'clock and 6 o'clock on a weekday. And we did, uh, a friend of mine and myself did two studies. We found out there were almost 30 to 35 cars turning left there. And every time there were three or four cars behind the tied up. And then the second study that we did, I wrote the description of all the cars. And in addition to that, there was a, there was a lady that was living in that, uh, that apartment on the corner of James and uh, Washington Avenue. Uh, she sent me a letter, when I asked her what she observed, she sent me a letter saying she saw dozens of people that are heading south on Washington Pike to avoid the, the no left turn thing. The church. They would go through the church parking lot, Bethany Church parking lot, and then come out on Church Street to go across. It, it's a real problem, and I think somebody, I think some of us try to make a, an effort to uh, to get pinned off the back down to at least put the the darn left turn stacking my hand. And what I'm getting at is related to the toll booths that they're apparently going to try to put up there. As I mentioned at the last meeting, I don't know, as I mentioned at the last meeting, I think I think one of the, uh, I don't know how successful the lawsuit is going to be that Bridge will call yourself at and Robinson filed against Pendle about the toll booths, right? But one of the things that I think would protect Bridgeville in this area is if you guys move ahead as the planning commission is discussing right now and put all of these fundamental routes through the community, make them part of your comprehensive plan. So if you do have to end up in court, the judge won't say, oh, well, you just did this three weeks before. <coughs> uh, but I, I, make a, I don't want to go into the details on it, but I make a, a, an extra effort to have a planning commission. You guys make it long time. I think it would end yeah, up. You'll you be happy to know we have a good conference yeah. plan for our agenda. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Sure, if you want. All right. Well, I guess on this, let's move into uh, more business. All right. I need a motion to approve the November 8, 2021 regular meeting minutes and November 16, 2021 special meeting minutes. I said move. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? That motion carries. I need a motion to approve the December 2021 bill list. I'll move. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> motion carries. I need a motion to approve the December 17th, 24th, <coughs> 31st, 2021 payrolls. So yes. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. I need to consider an action on ordinance number 1024. This is an ordinance of the borough of Bridgeville amending its official zoning map to rezone parcel 255-E-280 from conservation to residential one. Do you have any comments from council?
take a motion? I'll move. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. We need a motion to adopt resolution number 2021-24, a resolution of the borough of Bridgeville, Allegheny <coughs> County, Pennsylvania, setting the tax rates for the year 2022. Uh, note that no change in millage, 6.50 mills on buildings and 10.00 mills on land value. I'll move. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Very nice work, Joe. Appreciate it. I need a motion to adopt resolution number 2021-25, a resolution of the Borough of Bridgeville, Allegheny County, Pennsylvania, approving the budget for the fiscal year 2022 and adopting the same. I'll move. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. I need a motion to adopt resolution 2021-26. Resolution of the Borough of Bridgeville pursuant to the Borough Code of Ordinances, Chapter 18, Part 3, 301 through 304, establishing 2022 sanitary sewage rates. Note the 2022 sanitary sewer rates will be $16.47 per thousand gallons and a $6.82 per month service charge. These fees are pass on from the Alpha Stand. The borough portion of the fee remains unchanged. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Need a motion to adopt resolution number 2021-27, a resolution of the Borough of Bridgeville authorizing the submission of a request to PennDOT to provide 75% reimbursement for all costs incurred to adjust sanitary manholes on Bank Street as part of their upcoming paving project. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Joe, what are we at on that? Their list is in spring. We need a motion to adopt resolution number 2021-28, a resolution of the Borough of Bridgeville, creating a handicapped parking space with appropriate signage and providing penalties for thereof. This is located at 317 Union Street. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? <coughs> motion carries. A motion to adopt resolution number 2021-29, a resolution of the Borough of Bridgeville, creating a handicapped parking space with appropriate signage and providing penalties for thereof. This is at 664 Dubia. So, so second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Your motion to approve change order number one, final of the Chartier's Park Stream Restoration Project to adjust the contract amount to include costs associated with the additional stone backfill required and adjust the quantities based on the field measurements of final in place quantities. An increase of $40,837.40. I'll move. Second. A comment, Joe, was that, um, how, did they, how did they miss it? Was it, was it was it damaged more than what we had anticipated? Yeah, I was told that the creek has changed a great deal since the time yeah. that project. That item was a tonnage item. Uh, we had 600 tons of the contract. From the time we bid, That's an area that severely eroded and mm -hmm. undercut it more so we get in there. Um, uh, it was a so much per ton price, um, so the bill was slow. We actually pulled it back a little bit, even mm -hmm. less than the quantity, you know, the one that uh, would have um, It did a nice job. Um, that's why we bid it that way, because there was no way to pin down exactly, um, because every range line was over the place. And we had a push it, uh, it just wasn't enough for the amount of damage. It does look nice. I can't wait to see it when it's paved in the guard yeah. yeah. Okay, we have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. We need a motion to approve the disbursement of $183,000.78 from the capital project fund to G. Salandro Excavating LLC for parcel payment number one of the Chartres Valley, or I'm sorry, the Chartres Park Stream Restoration Project. So, second. All in favor? Uh, Joe, is there another disbursement other than this? No, we'll have another one. This is just the first one. Okay. The, all the work is done, so the second one will be the second one. Okay. So do I have a second one? There's an email. Yes, the okay. email. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. 
Need a motion to accept the request and grant retirement to Patrolman Chris Manalikas, effective January 8th, 2022. So moved. Second. Want to regret it, but it's time for something to pick up. <coughs> Just thank Chris for his years of service. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, how many, how many years? Over 25. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. We wish him well. We'll get a chance to see it, right? Yeah, we'll do a get together while he's not shown. Need a motion to authorize the purchase of a 2021 Ford Police Interceptor SUV from Laurel Ford at State Coast Guard's pricing with emergency equipment upfitting from Team Force at a cost not to exceed $46,304. So moved. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. We motion to authorize the advertisement of the 2022 meeting schedule with biannual reorganiza reorganization combined with the January monthly meeting of Borough Council on Monday, January 3rd, 2022 at 7 p.m. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. I need a motion to authorize the advertisement and release of a request for proposals for auditor services. So All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Need a motion to authorize a household hazardous waste collection event in partnership with Noble Environmental for Saturday, August 6, 2022, to be held at the fire station. As so moved. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. I need a motion to award contract to Mackin Engineers and Consultants to complete the 2022. Comprehensive plan update project based on the favorable recommendations from the Bridgeville Planning Commission. Note that this project is funded 50% by a municipal assistance grant from the Commonwealth. Has said moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Joe, thank you for your work in funding. I appreciate your patience. Uh, that was a... We came together. <clears throat> yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Keep up. And thank you to the Planning Commission as well. Uh, and all the work that we've done. I'm looking forward to this. Uh, a motion to authorize the submission of the Federal Building Resilient Infrastructure and Communities BRIC grant to FEMA FEMA, seeking 75% <coughs> funding of the McLaughlin Run Flood Control Project, Phase 1A. Uh, this application seeks $4,203,285.75 to construct a levy along Carroll Avenue that includes a pumping system, storm sewer improvements, and the replacement of the commercial street culverts with a single span culvert bridge. The borough match, if funded, will be $1.4,1095.25. I'll move it. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Move <laughs> I need a motion to authorize a real estate tax refund due to the change in assessment to the following. Reliable Savings and Loan Association of Bridgeville Parcel 255-P-226, year 2021, for $4,934.20. Can I ask that in here right now? And for year, same parcel, uh, same property for year 2020, for $4,934.20. I'd like to go for record. We disagree on that value. I guess that doesn't mean that. Uh, so I'll I'll uh, I'll make the motion. Go ahead and second. So moved. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? The motion carries. I need a motion to accept and pay any commission due to November 2021 a real estate tax collector report. I'll move. Second. So All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. A motion to acknowledge receipt of the October 2021 Treasury report. I'll move. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. I need a motion to accept the November 2021 police report. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Not December, it's supposed to be like months, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of work a lot of work. All right, let's move to the committee reports. I, uh, DJ's not here for administration. I'm going to place that at the end in the event that she does come in. Uh,
finance children's. Uh, as you can see, we approved the uh, budget at uh, this meeting that we uh, finalized at our November 16th budget meeting. Um, we did post it for public comment uh, and everything uh, was run very well. Joe, thank you for all that explanation uh, in the November meeting. It went over very well. Uh, another thing that we voted on was the RFP for the audit services, uh, which uh, it's nice to see that we're, we're going to have uh, that done as well. Um, and last but not least, uh, just as something that uh, for residents, uh, garbage and sewer bills, you can now pay via online on our website if you go there. Uh, I know that was something that's been requested and we were able to get that uh, uh, up and running now. So that is, that is available and actually do tells us that there are uh, some people already using it. Uh, the police and the public works uh, CBAs have been officially approved and finalized by both uh, employees. So that will be in effect uh, January 1st as well. Uh, that's all I have today. Thank you, Joe. <coughs> Parks and Recreation, Joe Velasco. Thanks, Bill. Uh, as was stated before, the Church Years Park Fest, Greenberg Restoration Park, has been completed. They're going to include the uh, placement of the guardrail down there with the paving project coming up this spring. So that would be nice. Uh, the Rotary Club Library Story Walk project, uh, that's going on. Uh, they're going to be hopefully getting some volunteers to do that work with the help of our public works department. So, it's a good thing. The grant for the uh, Chartier's Park Fitness Trail is declined. So, Joe's going to try and get that in 2022. We'll go from there. Uh, it's working for $250,000. I think we're better off just waiting for another year. Try and get the grant because that's sort of a chunk of change. That's all I have. Thank you. Any questions for Joe? Public oh, works, you know. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Curbside leaf collection and brush grinder program ended December 10th. Troop vendors have been taken down for the season and give to the parking authority for organizing. Christmas decoration went up on Washington Avenue for the train park was a heck of a Beautiful job. They look very well for the uh, winter uh, blessed uh, in December, December 3rd. We had a, an employee stream for the event to help set up the cleanup after. The crews with the assistant with uh, the course contractor repaired the, uh, the west side storm drain pipe at the Borough building. It was extensively clogged, collapsed and wash it out in a large void outside of the building foundation. I figured someday they was coming for that. Uh, okay, and then we have a um, uh, emergency sewer maintenance was performed on Bluff Street on November the 11th. The sewer was clogged with three roads, yes. Emergency sewer maintenance performed on Bluff Street on November 11th. The sewer was dropped with, oh, it's a simple one. I didn't put a check. McClough Run Run Park, uh, Run Park Phil. Jill, did you mention that? No. Okay. And sediment and debris from the uh, fall storm have been awfully removed and dumped at the Cecil Township. New backup purchase. Cruise and demo of both Caterpillar and John Deere. We plan also to demo the new calling. I never heard of it. You're okay. You heard it. Uh, business district maintenance replace a broken light pole at the corner of Stacy Street in Washington area. Equipment also maintenance and etc. etc. We are not, this is all maintenance of the, uh, the, equipment, the equipment and uh, cars and everything else. Um, 
So far, we have enough snow. We're saving some salt. That's good. We all can okay. okay, good snow. Oh. Christmas lights are on. Great. Yeah, hello. It's a little white. It wouldn't matter. I recognize that. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. Um, just want to thank Bridge Bill and the, uh, all the borough workers, Mike, for the lead they got. I mean, that's, I think a lot of people take advantage of that. And that's a great service that Bridge Bill offers to the community. And I think a lot of people take it for granted. I agree with you. A lot of times, you know, Joe, do it by that. A lot of times. Yeah, I know I took advantage of it that only this year. Yeah, or on more often than just on the days, which is awesome. Yeah. yeah it's not yeah. everybody can Sunday night. They're really just there. There, if they see a pal, then they come in. I mean, there's a kind of schedule we try to stick to. We yeah, caught off, we can to go back and do other things. You guys do a great job. Uh, thank you also to the Park Authority for the, the banner. Um, another great year of trying to find my brother. It's always a big task. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it, but I, I drove around looking for it many times, and I was sitting at the main corner at the light, and it was one of the ones right at the main corner, and I missed it the entire season. I don't know how I did it, but, there it was. but thank you, thank you, we appreciate that. Um, any questions for you know, <clears throat> Public safety, Bruce Galaducci. I don't have any report uh, present, but I just want to thank everybody for their condolences and flowers for my home's passing. Thank you. Uh, Mayor Betty Cope. Um, <clears throat> free parking begins in Bridgeville on December 20th until January 3rd. We also extended condolences to Jess King, our chief of police's wife, and the passing of her mother in Binghamton, New York. Also, congratulations to Councilman Nickel Chiselski on his engagement. Yeah, oh. Oh. yeah. And the chief is on vacation as of today, but he wants all of you to know that Buddy the Elk event will be on Sunday the 19th at 10 a.m. The live event will last 10 minutes or less, after which they will then go to the Dairy Delight and pass out toys as usual to the children of the community. And you'll really be thrilled this year with the addition of Sasquatch. So I hope you all show up. <laughs> There's been some trailers on that one. <laughs> now, any questions for the mayor? Chad is on vacation. Um, so, sir, Tom McCarthy. Um, thank you. Yeah, my written report. Just a couple small notes on the on the FEMA. Speaking of FEMA, FEMA matters. The um, I'm happy with or at least hopeful to report to Joe who actually has it today. But um, we're, I had indicated we're working with American General to prepare properties for uh, closings, and he's actually hopeful that we might uh, well be able to get all uh, closed on the end of the month. A couple stragglers. He's really just going to take the first degree of difficulty, and he plans on if he works out holding court here and raising them. And he's hopefully we'll be able to get them all wrapped up by the end of the year. We're working with Georgia Tech, so we're seeing all that meeting members and board and stuff. So, okay, well, let's pick Talk on what, yeah, to, to Rick, what question. I think, in fact, we went in this weekend to, to try to make that happen. So, with that, um, uh, the Newberry matter was approved and sent to the uh, assessor. Uh, and they are uh, uh, going to uh, make the portion of uh, the uh, values as we speak. Um, just real quick on the petition that was filed uh, on the I 79, the tool booth matter, and this week uh, as well. Uh, the lead council had uh, sought and we joined in on a motion for injunctive relief that they had filed. I think there was a, uh, an article in the Post Gazette you may have seen about the timeline on our project versus the other ones. I beg your pardon, and, and I believe that Representative Ortega did distribute, I don't know if you bought it or not, I can distribute if he hasn't, but a timeline on what they believe the would be process, et cetera, and will be in the event that it is on slow down oh, by she got I beg your pardon, a little worse tonight. <coughs> um, and finally, we would ask uh, for a, a brief, uh, an executive session uh, following uh, the manager and engineer, and I would like to update the board and get your guidance on uh, uh, Litigation matters, including the tar, stormwater matter, uh, 
very value for us. Then that's all. I don't let them do it. He told me not to. I, I'm very hard of hearing. I'm very hard of hearing. Okay. Don't let them change it. Change what? Change the change. Please keep that land in service. Oh, in the no, 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 that's okay. Oh, ma'am, ma'am, let me let me rest rest assured, ma'am. The land has been like that for eighty two years. I've lived there for eighty two years. Ma'am, if, if I might, you can rest at ease. Don't change it, please. Your property is not is not being impacted by this whatsoever. Okay. Yeah. All right. Is it going to be all right? Yes. Your problem? Yes. Yes. It's all right? Yes. <laughs> okay. I feel that for the first time I've ever ever had. My land. I'm a little animal. I'm sorry. Oh, my animal. Now, man, rest assured, your, your property is not involved in it. It will not be changed. It's been 82 years I've been there. And I know it's been over 100 years that it's been the service hour. Please keep it that way. Yes, ma'am. That's your backyard. That's part of your property. And it will remain unchanged. Okay. Thank you. They're going to keep it that way. Part of it, yes. Yeah. Okay. Your property will be fine. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. It'd be the best Christmas for us like I have. How did you get here? I, I just have a have a little bit of problem here and there. I'm just trying to keep the best I can. Okay. Did you walk here? Did you walk? You didn't walk here today. I'm sorry, you didn't walk here, did you? I'm sorry. Do you want to ride home? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, let's thank you very okay. much. I appreciate you guys helping me. I just missed it. 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 I just uh, fire chief. I know. Yes. Uh, I I um, we had 30 calls for the month of November. And uh, as the mayor said before, on uh, 19th, we are doing our annual sand comes around town. So please listen for the fire truck sirens, Christmas music going on. Um, and we try to do as quickly as possible and right after the whole event down to Dairy Delight. Also, we have uh, multiple fundraisers going on our Facebook page, so check it daily. Uh, just the links pop up, and also we have a slate full of cash. Chance to win a good Christmas gift of $10,000. So, uh, well, Santa Claus, uh, listen for the fire truck sirens. We got Christmas music playing this year. You know, Buddy the Elf's coming in town. Uh, that will start right after that whole thing with Buddy the Elf and Sasquatch. As everybody watches, it's going to be a fun event this year. Um, and also, I say we have our slate full cash fundraiser going on. It's a chance to win uh, up at uh, win ten thousand dollars on the day. 
except it's for your cool Christmas gift today, but who wins? Where are you selling tickets for that? I have uh, contact the environment, or I don't have them on me right now because I literally have a fire call. Okay. So if you message our Facebook page, you can get them last year through that. Okay. Or like I said, if you message the page, somebody can meet you up either or wherever. So um, that's all I have for now. Thanks, Mike. Uh, anything from the Historical Society? The president would like to have you all stop and look at the Christmas tree that's decorated with all the White House ornaments from through the years. Tuesdays and Fridays from 10 to 2. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, library. And we had a few festival going on now until the 18th. Uh, the Flamingos made their appearance again. They migrated back in for the festivities. They're, they'll be going on to the 18th. There's also raffle baskets there in addition to that. The Love Your Library months of September, Bridgel Library generated received in $9,100. Matching the Jack Punster Foundation was $2,100. Then they are also giving all the libraries a year-end grant of $5,000. All the libraries, so that's from the Jack Punster Foundation. And then next year will be 60 years for library. We're planning festivities for that. The next year will be 60 years for library. No details of that this time. Thank you. Thanks, Craig. 60 years. Wow. Seems like yes. We're all getting old, huh? <laughs> yeah. uh, <coughs> parking authority. You guys have anything for us? No. Any questions for parking authority? It's nice to see your faces. Uh, planning Commission. Oh. <laughs> Mike? <laughs> um, uh, last meeting we were talking about uh, things we want to work on for next year. Obviously, we. Um, a lot, you know, had a lot on our plate this year with a comprehensive plan, and thank you for um, moving that forward. And I'm really happy about the grant we got. Um, so, you know, we're looking forward to seeing some new faces on the planning commission and getting ready to look at some new pro other projects to work on for next year. It's been a busy year, man. It's yes, it's been really, really busy. Good collaboration. Appreciate it. Looking forward to next year. Yeah. <coughs> uh, for our manager. Thank you. A couple of quick takes. Uh, the first one is I'd be remiss to not thank uh, Councilwoman Schneider. Uh, she chaired the administration committee and uh, my office has a long interaction with her and her committee. And uh, I wanted to thank her for everything she did for myself and the staff. Uh, with that, a couple quick updates on the flood grant. Uh, the first Flood Acquisition Grant, the FEMA project that's going on with the Baldwin and Margaret, Margaret Street properties. Uh, this week, the Italian Club officially withdrew, so the club building won't be participating. Uh, that leaves seven houses that are going to be acquired with the solicitor stated within the next month or so, and probably be condemned by uh, demolished by springtime. So coming in spring or the summer, we've lost what we can space we will see that. With it on the agenda was the uh, other FEMA grant that we're submitting uh, to do phase 1A of the flood control project. Uh, we've already had a conference call with FEMA with additional questions and some technical input they wanted from us on our application. So uh, our application is being scrutinized. We've talked to the Lieutenant Governor's office, uh, Senator Casey's office, our local state senator. Uh, we're trying to get everyone we can to the table to, to make this uh, get traction. We realize that um, this is the start of us really trying to solicit funds for this project, but the amount of funding that the federal government put into the what's called the BRIC grants this year uh, is unlike any other. So we're taking it very seriously and do what we can uh, to get, hopefully, uh, this thing awarded. And if not, uh, all the groundwork's laid and we'll just keep funding up, applying for any funding resources that come up. But this is a very good program that pays for 75% of it. So, uh, We'll know. Uh, we got to get uh, responses back to Pima by Christmas, so uh, that's moving ahead um, very seriously. Is that a positive response that they're asking questions? I take it. In my experience, is always if they're asking questions, there's, there's interest. If there wasn't, you know, here. so that's a good thing. And, uh, a Saturday call from a woman at Pima, uh, they got my interest, so that's what I have. Well, no, most of them have been here post event. So it's an opportunity for them to step up and do some things 
proactive. So it's a very good project. It, it, it makes it nice because it has community input, community design, planning commission, public meetings. So uh, it, it, we've got a good foundation. So we'll, we'll see where it goes, but uh, at least uh, they didn't just kick it out. They wanted more information. John, I, the engineer, and I were able to get that turned around very quickly. Uh, with that, we talked about the comprehensive plan. We were able to get grant funding to fund that. And uh, uh, I know we've been talking about this project for a while, and I think maybe the citizens would understand why we've been delaying it. Uh, aside from the thorough vetting, was that we applied for this grant funding to pay for half of the project. So it's thirty-seven thousand five hundred dollars, and we received notice last week that it's funded. So I appreciate the patience. You probably wonder why aren't they doing anything? It was, we were waiting for this grant to be considered. Uh, and then lastly. Uh, the active transportation plan uh, is moving ahead. We have our second public meeting scheduled for Tuesday, February 8th uh, at the fire hall at 6 o'clock. There's flyers on the front counter there. Uh, on our website, we created an active transportation plan page that has updates on the plan. So all the feedback we received from the Google map and at the meeting are all basically mapped. So basically the public can come here and see, hey, where's all, what was everyone's opinions? You know, so it's all on there. And uh, this page will be updated so that when we have the draft plan, it can be all presented. So it will be a, a living, breathing page. Uh, if there's any questions, my written report was submitted. I'd be more than happy to answer that. And uh, Merry Christmas and thank you for everything. Thank you, Joe. Appreciate it. Any questions for Joe? <coughs> all right, under, under new business. Uh, my twin sister, Nicole, and I would like to thank everybody who participated in our month long birthday celebration, uh, essentially we would put uh, canned food boxes all over the community in several major locations, including our police department, fire department, uh, major restaurants, um, other small businesses, and uh, today we picked everything up and we were able to, for the Bridgeway Air Food Bank, gather over $800 in cash, as well as uh, what I would say is probably our largest haul of canned and non vegetable foods in our five years of doing this project. So I want to thank everybody for their participation and wish you all happy holidays. Uh, I wanted to take a moment too to recognize the contributions that B.J. Schneider would make to the borough board in our four-year term on council. Uh, B.J. brought an inquisitive nature and a desire of accountability uh, that has allowed us to achieve much success in these uh, past four years. Her commitment to her constituents and her collaboration with her peers have been inspiring. And uh, I hope that B.J. continues to contribute to the community in many different ways. Uh, with that, uh, we wish you all a Merry Christmas. Well, because yeah, I just have one more comment, okay. Okay. not to delay this. Uh, and if the reason for those drawings is if you can't prevent <coughs> end up moving all boosts with the bridge exit or moving them between the, the Navy exit on the 79 and the, the uh, Parkway West. Uh, it's obvious that people are going to detour around the toll booths in both directions and overwhelm the original road network system. The importance of having that maximum capacity for street widenings and improvement for the community is if you have to go to court, uh, the courts are very likely to have <coughs> and Allegheny County build a road structure through the community in every direction to handle the Volume from the detour. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, again, we'll wish you all a Merry Christmas. We are breaking for an executive session before we adjourn. Um, we have no intentions of taking action. So we leave if you'd like. To.